Well, uh, I think what's so exciting about the biology of mitochondria transfer is that I think that it links back to the evolutionary origins of life, eukaryotic right. life at least. Right. I, I think that my hypothesis is that this biology helped to support the evolution of eukaryotic life. And I think it's very hardwired into our physiology. It's very early days, and there are a lot of people who are very excited about the idea of mitochondria transplantation. But I really that there, uh, I would caution against the hype around it. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not a panacea. It is a there. I think there are risks to the procedure, and it really requires the right type of scenario to use mitochondria transplantation. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't actually think about it this way, This all this mitochondrial transfer stuff that does really speak to the, the origins of eukaryotic cells potentially because the classic endosymbiotic theory that I've always had in my head since I was, you know, a teenager is somehow, some way, way back when the mitochondria all got into some cells and then they just kept getting inherited after that. And what you're basically saying is it's, it's actually very common for mitochondria to go in between cells to and from come and go. And so, uh, it may not have been such a, a a rare singular event, this type of thing, transfer of these basically miniature cells between larger cells may have been common the whole time. And I actually view mito transfer as being a, a relic of that evolutionary history, mm -hmm. a preserved one, because I think it's beneficial to, right. there's an advantage to doing it.